Hello wonderful people of YouTube. Today I'm going to show you some beginner Spanish guitar. I'm assuming you have some very basic guitar knowledge, you know a few chords and you've been playing a little bit. And I'm also assuming that you're interested in this style, a bit more Spanish sounding, a bit more Latin sounding. I don't use the word flamenco much at all. I do play a little bit of beginner flamenco myself, but I don't claim to have the knowledge or experience to teach flamenco. I probably never will teach flamenco, or maybe when I'm very, very old, I might start. So I call it Spanish style guitar because it's got a little bit of that flavor that we Western listeners recognize as a little bit Spanish, maybe from a, from a movie or from some music that we've heard. So I just want to make that clear. I'm not claiming this is flamenco, but it is uh, fun sounding and fun to play. I'm not going to show you something to play note for note. A lot of YouTube lessons are simply learning a particular piece of music. I'm going to show you some really basic concepts and some really basic things and combinations that you can combine and make your own Spanish guitar song. So everyone who plays this lesson will have their own version of this. We're not all going to be the same and clone each other. We're all going to have our own version. Let me play the guitar for a moment to show you some of the concepts and then I'll show you what I'm doing. something like that. The possibilities are endless, but we're going to start simple and we're going to start beautiful and let's see where we can take this. I started off with an A minor chord, definitely one of the most fundamental chords on guitar, on Spanish guitar. And I combine it with an E major chord. So they're your two basic chords we're going to play with today. I did also bring in the F chord. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but for now, step one, begin the Spanish guitar, A minor, E major. Even if you're just on whatever level your guitar playing is at, just have a bit of a strum. You might just be like a super beginner, just strumming down and that's fine. Just hear those two chord changes, there's a lot of, a lot of beauty just in that sound. You can really rake the thumb to get some good effect and uh, whoever you are in whatever stage of guitar playing you're at for example you may choose to pick up the plectrum already that starts to sound pretty cool and I'm not doing this now what I'm going to do to show off but just to show you the kinds of things we can move towards in the future we can do some body percussion stuff so it can get a bit more advanced and I do have lessons on that body percussion that we're not going to do that in the beginner lesson. So we've got our two chords, cool and we're pretty happy. Now what I did after the A minor chord, I played an ultra simple melody on the high E string. The high E string is called the high E string even though it seems to be towards the bottom of the guitar we call it the high E string because it's the highest pitch string. So the high E string has a higher pitch, the low E string has a lower pitch. That confuses people but it's important. On the high E string, I simply went basically 0, 3, 1, 0. 0, 3, 1, oh. You can't get much more simple than that. Though if we wanted to get more simple, and it's still, I think, a really effective Spanish sound, you could go just 0 and 1. That 0, 1 sound, super Spanish. Even just the combination of those two notes. And as I said before, this lesson is going to contain many variations and we're all going to play our own versions of this basic set of ideas. So those notes are just E, F. So anywhere on your guitar there's an E note and an F note will be equally valid to play it. Again, I can't 
can't teach every variation for every person every time. We'll run out of time and it will get super boring, but I'm just trying to give you a bunch of ideas and see how you go with it. Another thing I did, I went zero, one, three, five. And any combination of those notes. Notice when I'm playing like this, this is very important. I'm not keeping time, I'm not going one, two, three, four. Now we certainly can do that, but in this beginner Spanish guitar lesson, I'm introducing you to the concept I call free time. I'm not counting the four, I'm not counting the six, I'm not tapping my foot, we're in free time. We've got all the time in the world and you can play as slowly. Or as fast. As your ears tell you to and as your ability allows you to. But that lack of tempo is something that we Western listeners closely associate with kind of like languid Spanish guitar. It's a beautiful sound. You may never have played guitar in this free time tempo before. You might be at an early stage of your playing where everything you've ever played was just a song or a, or a riff that was in probably 4-4. So there's another concept, that free time. Bonus material, a lot of flamenco was in 12s. As I said, we're not doing flamenco that is just something for your knowledge and something you might work towards or be interested in. But that's not what we're here to do today. So after doing that little 0, 1, 3, 5 combination on the high E string, we're going to do exactly the same thing but just with the E chord on the B string, 0, 1, 3, 5. And play with all those notes. Slides are encouraged. Spanish sound you'd actually use uh, legatus so or hammer-ons for example. And we could just alternate between them. We've got two chords to alternate between A minor and E and two strings to alternate between the E string and the B string 0, 1, 3, 5. Already there's pretty much endless combinations. Experiment with dynamics. said this is a beginner lesson so I'm going to leave it at that for now. If you want more there's heaps more videos on this channel that will take you in different directions. I call my lessons Lego blocks. Each lesson that I teach you on YouTube I just try and give you one or a few little small handy nuggets of information and the idea is as you progress as you learn from me and any other source you care to learn from the more the better you combine these Lego blocks. So this is just something today to get you started and if you like it you'll find more on my channel. I will put some tabs up for today's lesson on my Patreon page. If you like what you're hearing, you want to support, you want to get some tabs, and you want to get some more information, Patreon is the place to do it. Link in comments. Before I go, one more little gem that for me blew the game wide open, made me so happy. Take an E major chord, just like we've been playing, and put your pinky down at the third fret of the D string. That's one of the most quintessential Spanish chords there is. So on the D string, we can make a little melody. We're holding an E chord, just like we have for this whole lesson, but on the D string, we've got a little melody, three, two, zero, two. That sound is so dark in such a beautiful way. Oh, and before I forget, I did say we did the F chord. Really, all I did was smash an F chord. Which is fun. But everyone hates F chords, and this is a beginner lesson, so even better than an F chord. Take the E chord and just move it up one fret. And let all the other strings ring out. I believe officially that would be an F major 7 flat 5. I call it flamenco F, even though we're not playing flamenco. But that chord good fun. So when you want to have some variation between your A minors and E's, just a bit of F.
thank you for watching. Please do leave a comment and let me know how you've gone with this. I've tried to make it as simple and as basic as possible, but also to have room for improvisation and self-expression. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope we all continue to enjoy playing the guitar for the rest of our lives. Thank you so much.